Welcome back to part 3 of our tutorial on working with Node.js and MongoDB in the Ubuntu environment. Uh, I'm going to break this one down into two parts actually. There's going to be two videos for part 3. Um, let's actually just get started first by doing a couple changes. Now Juju, what we're going to be using to deploy is what we're going to be using to deploy our Amazon Web Service. Uh, AWS is very useful. It's free. Go ahead and sign up for an account now. Once you're done signing up for an account, you're going to want to go to the Management Council, and then you're going to want to go to your little name here in the corner. Go to Security Credentials. You're going to want to go to Access Keys. You want to create a key for yourself. Create a new root key. It will prompt you to download the file. I'm going to not do this because I don't need to and I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because I don't need it and it won't let me download it after this so now that you're done with all that uh, charms basically are fully set up environments for Juju and they're basically Node.js, MongoDB, Tomcat you can see these and there's a lot more on the charm store uh, we will go over that maybe later on but let's go ahead and open up our editor and first actually first let's go to our terminal prompt we want to make a directory called config this is a requirement of the charm node app that we're going to be using uh, that's the name of it node app it's a charm in the juju store and uh, first off what we're going to do is we made the config now let's go over to our environment oh we also need to do one more thing there's a requirement by node app your app.js file actually needs to be called server.js so app.js to server.js now we can go back to our editor let's go ahead and open that file and now because we changed that we need to change our package to load server.js you can save that and close it up um, and inside of that server file the only thing we need to change is our port number we're going to use port 8000 because it's very common when doing web apps and so forth uh, we're going to be using a charm called haproxy which allows us to kind of forego this. We can create our own little unique connections in the background, but we're not going to worry about that right now. All right, so close that out. We don't need it anymore. And then we're going to create a new file, and we're going to save this into our config directory. This is going to be a unique module, and we're going to call this config.js. This is what our node app charm looks for. Um, and if you go to my Git repository on the or at GitHub, the mind company slash node app, this is my version of the or revision of the node app. It builds everything from source. It doesn't use the PPA, and I don't have any problems with it myself. Uh, there is one thing, but we'll talk about that in the very end. Um, and then you can see there's a bunch of different information here on how to get it all up and started what we're about to do but there is one important area this is how we work with node.js our node.js application it looks for this file and it will replace localhost the port value with the port values set by the servers themselves um, and then let's go ahead and go back to our config. We're just going to paste that in. What we just oh, uh, we're going to paste that in. Where did my window go? Copy hit, and then go back to our editor. Paste it in. We don't need to do anything else. It's already set up for me. And we're going to go here to our name.js file. We're going to load that up. So var config equals require. 
Um, keep in mind that this is in a directory above this folder. Oh. So we want to remember always use that dot because we want to look from the root of our application. We're going to dot dot and it's going to be in config slash config dot js. You don't need that js spot or js again but I like to make sure it knows where it's going. And the only thing we're going to edit from here we're going to get rid of this local host and we're going to concatenate our own values from that config file. Um, now this is where we need to actually use the port number so we're actually going to concatenate in two different things. We need to have the that little guy there I can't even think what that's called right now at the top of my head uh, and then we're going to go ahead and add there. Okay. So calling from the config module, we're calling Mongo host. And calling from the config module again, we're calling Mongo port. And that is it. We don't need to do anything else. We can still deploy this locally on our own environment and test it out because we have our values set as local and 8000 here. And so let's just go ahead and do that real quick to make sure everything works. Node server.js. And I am doing something wrong. Oh, I. I had deleted the modules folder earlier, so npm install, install all that, all those modules, and let's try it again on port 8000. So local host 8000, and everything works. We're doing it again, so it works. Yay! Okay, so we are going to go back here and close that out. We're also going to get Juju up and running here. Um, first we're just going to install the Juju core and in order to get those instructions you can go to the Juju website again and let me go actually the Juju documentation uh, getting started resources it's right there on your front oh is this the yeah that's the AWS so in the introduction, you want to make sure you have a SSH key set up for yourself. You don't need to do anything else but hit enter for all the prompts that come with it. I already have my own SSH key set up, so I'm not going to overwrite mine or else it will cause me some problems with my other environment that I'm about to show you. But every time you're prompted for anything just hit enter you don't need to do anything else and now we are going to add the PPA so if you go back to that website you'll notice you have this line commands you can follow it's you're adding a repository of the Juju Devel and then you want to update your uh, package manager to account for it and then we install the Juju core. Um, I can go ahead and do that I guess for you so you can watch it and feel a little better but I don't have a lot of time in these videos. So going back um, now what you want to do is the next step is creating a config file. Very important this has all of the different cloud services set up in there in a boiler like template you don't need all of them but it will create them all for you I already have one made so it won't overwrite it but it will create a directory at dot juju and we can cd into that uh, 
oh, I'm in the Mongo node app, so I can CD back and CD into Juju. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. I will continue on in the next tutorial and show you how to deploy these services, edit your environment's YAML file. Um, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.